As the weather continues to cool down in mid-Missouri, the Mizzou basketball team probably happy to be in the Vir Virgin Islands right now. The Tigers beat a bad Kennesaw State team 55-52 in their opening game of the Paradise Jam Tournament. A much stronger game for Missouri in today's semifinal showdown. Coach Martin's Tigers taking on 3-0 Oregon State. Missouri led most of the way in this one as Mark Smith with a great look to Reed Nico for the finish. Smith with four assists in the game as later it's Smith out to Nico again. He would actually miss this, but watch Javon Pickett flying in for the tap in. Awesome. Then Mark Smith doing what he does best. Watch this deep three. He might as well have shot this from Mizzou Arena. The Tigers led 32 28 at the half. Jordan Geist who's the star of the game with 21 points. Mizzou wins 69-63. The Tigers will play former Big 12 rival Kansas State tomorrow night at 6.30 in the Paradise Jam Championship. The football Tigers received 34 votes today in the AP Top 25 poll. Mizzou would be ranked 29th if the rankings went that far. Missouri getting some love from the media thanks to a dominant 50-17 win over Tennessee. If that score sounds familiar, well, it is back to back years that the Tigers beat the Vows 50 17. A happy day for current offensive coordinator and former Tennessee coach Derek Dooley. Missouri played perhaps its most complete game of the year. Drew Locke completed passes to 10 different players and finished with 257 pass yards and two touchdowns. A balanced offensive performance as the Tigers rushed for 227 yards and three touchdowns. The defense was impressive too, especially DeMarcus Acey, who had two interceptions, including this one, which he returned for 76 yards to set up a Tigers touchdown. Joshua Bledsoe also had a scoop and score for a 39-yard touchdown. The Tigers held the Volunteers to just 255 total yards. Tucker McCann also a perfect three for three on field goals as Mizzou moves to seven and four on the season. A quick turnaround this week, Missouri hosts Arkansas Friday at 1.30 p.m. That game airs right here on KRCG 13. On the NFL football, as former Mizzou QB Blaine Gabbert threw a touchdown pass in relief for the injured Marcus Mariota, but the Titans lost 38-10. And former Chiefs and current Redskins QB Alex Smith suffered a gruesome leg injury and will need season-ending surgery. But the biggest game of the NFL week and perhaps the entire regular season comes tomorrow night in prime time. The 9-1 Kansas City Chiefs travel to Los Angeles to take on the 9-1 Rams. The NFL moved the game from Mexico City to LA because of poor field conditions. Nothing poor about the two offenses though. The Rams are third in the NFL averaging about 33 and a half points per game. Meanwhile, Kansas City comes in second in the NFL with about 35 points per game. Both teams boast young stars at the QB and running back positions. Here's Patrick Mahomes on the monster matchup. You're very excited. I mean, first off, it's Monday night, so you're going to be like the only thing on TV. You're going to get to play against a really, really good team in every aspect of it. They're good special teams, they're good defense, good offense. And uh, when you play in this league, you want to play against the best. And uh, getting to compete against a team like this is going to be a great challenge for us. And uh, we're going to go out there and compete. Kickoff set for 7.15 p.m. The game airs on ESPN. The Saints won today to also go to 9-1. and one. So the winner of this game will have a half game lead on New Orleans for the best record in the NFL. Earlier today on KRCG 13, it was an AFC showdown between the Broncos and Chargers. Los Angeles up two, three seconds left, but Brandon McManus makes a game winning 34 yard field goal as time expires. The Chiefs now have a full two game lead on the Chargers in the AFC West. Back in Columbia, it's senior day for the volleyball team. Alyssa Munlin and Paige Perego honored before the game. The 23rd ranked Tigers down two sets against 11th ranked Kentucky. Munlin with a big block. She's the school record holder in blocks. Then later in the set, this time Munlin with the offense. A powerful kill, but it wasn't enough. Set point now and Kentucky would come up with a big block. The Wildcats win in three sets to go to 16-0 in the SEC. The Tigers fall to 12-5. A tough weekend at Mizzou Arena for basketball too as the now 2-1 Lady Tigers dropped their first game of the year 56-49 against Green Bay on Friday. Amber Smith did have a great game with 23 points and 10 rebounds. The Tigers back at home tomorrow night at 7 against SIU Edwardsville. On to NASCAR's final race of the year. We're down to just the championship four. Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., and the underdog Joey Logano. But don't tell him that, though. Look at Logano. 
as he passes Truex Jr. with just 12 laps to go. And Logano goes on to win the race in his first ever NASCAR Cup Series championship. Logano celebrates the huge win. Back here in Missouri, we've got three local football teams that advance to the state semifinals this weekend. In Class 2, number one ranked Blair Oaks beat Clark County 55-6. The undefeated Falcons host Lutheran North next Saturday at 1 p.m. In Class 5, Battle did just that as the Spartans battled back to beat Fort Zumwalt North 26-14. Battle trailed this game 14-0 in the first quarter before scoring 26 unanswered points. Battle travels to Fort Osage next Saturday for a 1 p.m. kickoff. And in Class 1, West Trend will also have a semifinal road trip. The Hornets play at Haytai next Saturday at 1. West Trend just beat Fayette 35-6 behind five total touchdowns by Alex Young. And finally, in college football, Kansas made the hire of former LSU coach Les Miles official today. Miles had 114 wins and 34 losses in his 12 years at LSU, which included a national title in 2007. The last time Kansas football had a winning season was 2008. So what a hire for them. I mean, the team has had so many losses. I mean, they're so bad, KU football. I mean, Mizzou fans will agree. But to get less miles, that's kind of crazy. I feel like he could have gone somewhere better. That's a good challenge. Yeah, it's a good challenge. He's yes. got a lot of work ahead of him, and they they played. I thought Oklahoma well. Yeah. On Saturday, so if that's a promise of some talent they may have, he may not have as difficult as a road as Mizzou fans would. Well, we'll see. Hope. But this this really tells you how good of a coach you are and how good of a recruiter you are. Yeah. So Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Enough about sports. <laughs> Enough about How sports. about the weather? Looking ahead yeah. to the weekend. A short work week. <laughs>